Liam is super embarrassed because I've caught him and I'm going to tell everyone that he is the headliner Hamlet in the upcoming Hamlet. I'm one of two. One of two. See how bashful he is. Well, Liam, tell us how, you know, why did you become an opera singer and, and how is playing the role of Hamlet? You really want to know why I became an opera singer? Really? I went to an all-boys Catholic high school and the only way to meet girls was to join the drama club. So that's how I found out I could sing and sort of fell into the business. And um, I've just been very fortunate with my training and the people I've met that I've had the success that I have in such a short period of time. So does Hamlet get all the girls? No, no, he, everyone dies at the end except for Queen Gertrude. She's the only one who lives. Not that I spoiled the story at all. A lot of people haven't seen Hamlet. Why should they go and see you and your counterpart on the days that you're not Hamlet? Why should they come see you at the Kennedy Center? Oh, they should see it because it's a very, um, it's an intense opera, but it's not very well known. Um, it's not done very often, I think, because it's very complex, both musically and uh, vocally for the singers. And um, it's one of those rare occasions that you have the opportunity to see this show with a really great cast. Uh, there's some very famous people, very famous opera singers that are involved in this production. Um, Elizabeth Futral is playing Ophelia, and Sam Raimi, who's world famous bass, is singing King Claudius. Um, local uh, celebrity and and uh, and uh, known throughout the business, uh, singing Queen Gertrude is, is uh, Elizabeth Bishop. So. I know she performs at the Kennedy Center a lot, so yeah, it's just a really incredible cast. So you're not, um, Washington DC is not your home, but we get to play host to you for a little bit. Yes. What has been your favorite thing about DC as you've been roaming around outside of rehearsals at the Kennedy Center? Well, my favorite part of DC is Georgetown, for sure. And that's where we found you. And that's where you found me.